Hello, I'm here today with Sashi Aretnam, Director, Product Management. Hello, Sashi. Welcome today. Hi, Jim. Now, Sashi, how extensive and challenging should testing be? It's hard to test every single combination and every single possible scenario out there. So what is important to understand is that you need to understand your network, your network characteristics, what are the kind of applications, how you're planning to deploy it, and test under those conditions. And you may find that you know, when you turn on all these features or these operations, different modes on, your net, on, on, on these security devices, your network might be coming to a grinding halt and you may have to reassess. Sashi, what is Perfect Storm? And what I'm getting at is, what exactly does it do and how do people use it? Perfect Storm is Ixia's flagship applications and security test platform. Um, it is used to validate application performance as well as network security resilience of security devices and networks. Um, and we have two different form factors. One is a 12U chassis and one is a um, you know, 1U, 1.5U um, um, appliance. Um, the difference is basically scale. You know, in a, specifically, you know, ve in a network equipment vendors as well as service providers have very high scaling requirements and even some enterprises have very high scaling requirements and they go for the big chassis and they can have multiple users. You can run tests simultaneously with multiple users. Um, Perfect Storm 1 is our appliance form factor, uh, which is scales up to 80 gigabits per second, whereas the 12U scales up to like almost a terabyte, 960 gigabits per second, um, is more suited for you know, small enterprises or enterprise customers who you know just starting to you know, wet their feet. Now, when do folks use it? For example, what I mean is, is it just for pre-deployment? Most of our solutions are you know, um, used in a pre-deployment environment to understand and characterize their networks and devices before they go into production environments. But um, increasingly, we are starting to see um, our customers you know, move like a perfect storm one appliance into their you know, production data center to do DDoS testing, for example, and also to um, assess the, you know, the mitigation processes and policies that they have to assess people, for example, you know, they will put it in the live network just to try it out to see how people will respond to something like this. I find that really interesting. Can you elaborate a bit on the kinds of tests that people can run and also what kind of environments do they need to do this? So the kinds of tests they will run is, um, for example, they will start with basic TCP performance benchmarking, and it will you know, quickly graduate into you know, a mix of applications that are prevalent in their networks and see how those applications are performing, what is the quality of experience of those applications at very high scale, high load, and see what will happen um, to the performance, application performance, when the, um, the security device is busy trying to combat the threat vectors, and what kind of impact it'll have on application performance. Kind of a quick elaboration on some of the insights you're talking about you know, that they, people can get from this and what do you see them doing with that insight? The insight is, as I mentioned, um, you know, to know your network, know the scale and performance it can withstand, um, understand the security resilience and security posture of your network, and at the very end what really matters is the experience that your users or your customers have with your network, your infrastructure. Because at the end of the day, what customers really care about um, is making sure that their networks are fast, they're reliable, and they're secure. Sasha, that's great insight. I'm really glad you're here today. Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks, Chip.